Lesson 3, Unit 5. Earned Value Management. Earned Value Management, or EVM, is a project management technique that measures project progress objectively. EVM combines measurements of scope performance, schedule performance, and cost performance within a single integrated methodology. The value of this technique is to provide an early warning of performance problems while there is still time for corrective actions. EVM contains eight components that you need to be familiar with. Plan value is the budget for a project, or the plan budget to be spent on a project during a given period of time. Plan value for a specific date is the cumulative plan cost for each month between the start date and the status date. Budget or completion, this is the value at the end of the project. It is calculated at the start of the project based on the project work and its individual components. Actual cost is the total direct and indirect cost incurred in accomplishing the work of a project during a given period of time. An earned value is the percentage of work completed multiplied by the total plan of value or BAC at a specific time. Cost variance is the value obtained by deducting the project's actual cost from the earned value. It shows the variance between what has been completed and the costs that have been incurred. A schedule variance shows the difference between the plan and the actual completion of work. It is calculated by deducting plan value from earned value. Cost Performance Index, or CPI, is the ratio of earned value to actual cost and is used to estimate the project cost of completing the project. The Schedule Performance Index is similar to CPA and it's used to estimate the projected time to complete the project. To calculate the values of EVM, you can use the following formulas. Earned value is the multiplication between the total budget and the percentage of work completed by the project at a specific time. Cost variance equals earned value minus the actual cost. The schedule variance equals earned value minus plan value. And the schedule variance equals earned value minus plan value. The cost performance index equals earned value divided by the actual cost, and the schedule performance index equals earned values divided by plan value. Let's look at an example on how to use EVM. A project to build 12 rural health centers in 12 months at a cost of $100,000 each. The total budget is $1,200,000. Your plan is to complete one center each month. You develop a chart that shows the plan value of the project over the 12 months. This has the shape of an S-curve. On month 5, you plan to have made expenses in the value of $350,000. At the end of the fifth month, three rural health centers have been completed, and the total cost spent to date is $420,000. You chart the values of the actual cost for each month. In the chart is the line in red. The cumulative value in month 5 is 420000 This value is provided by the finance department and includes all the expenses made by the project. Then you chart the earned value, EV. This is the value of the number of centers completed. The value of EV is 300000 or $100,000 times 3. This is the green line in the chart. Next, you calculate the schedule variance to see if the project is late or not. The value of a schedule variance is minus 50,000. It's the difference between SV and PV. A negative number means that the project is behind the schedule. The project spent more time than planned to deliver the three health centers. Next, you calculate cost variance to see if the project is spending funds as planned or not. Cost variance is the difference between earned value and the actual cost. For this example, the value of cost variance is minus 120,000. A negative result indicates a budget overrun. In other words, the project spent more money than the value of the work delivered to date. Earned value is an objective measurement of how much work has been accomplished on a project, not how much time has passed, nor how much was spent. It's the quantified value of the project is delivering. In this example, it's how many health centers have been completed. Another way to determine the performance variances is by calculating the Schedule Performance Index. The value of SPA, for the example, is 0 
a value less than one means that the project is running behind the schedule. You can also calculate the cost performance index, CPI. The value of CPI is 0 0.71. A value less than one means that the project has a budget overrun. It is only earning 71 cents for every dollar spent to date. With this information, you know that if you continue the project with the same trends, CPA and SPI, you will run out of money on month nine and we will not be able to complete all the health centers. With this situation, you need to analyze and investigate the probable causes for these variations. Some purchases are not reflected in the EV analysis. Actual costs can be higher because of the inventory of material purchased that has not been used in the construction of the centers. Work in progress. You're not only reporting air value at 100% or when a center is fully completed, but you're not taking into account those centers that are still in construction. Cost estimates don't reflect actual expenses. The material may be costing more than what was originally estimated. And time estimates might have been too optimistic. EVM is a powerful tool to monitor not only the budget, but the time it takes the project to complete the work. It gives information on the actual performance of the project and the variances in cost, time, and the work accomplished. EVM helps provide the basis to assess work progress against a baseline plan, provides data for proactive management action, and provides project managers with a summary of information for early decision making.